last episode on Junk to Gems. On this episode of Junk to Gems, the series where I take thrifted jewelry that has been thrown away and turn it into something cool and new, I will be choosing something out of this Texas thrift haul to make into something beautiful. remember back on my very first episode at the very end I asked you guys to comment which piece from this pile you wanted me to work on next now there were so many so many comments we could barely get through them all just kidding only one person commented Wanda Reddy Wanda Reddy commented and said she wants us to do this heart one and you know what I actually wanted to do this heart one as well because it's become like kind of a, a folkloric tale around here number one at Texas Thrift, a woman tried to steal this right out of my pile. I was having to give her like a serious thing eye and like put my hands across my pile like this because she was looking at this so aggressively. She wanted it so badly. Then Tess said, I used to work at a store in the mall and, and like a designer jewelry store and they sold pieces of jewelry just like this. I wonder if this is from that designer. And then number three, we were watching a video on Instagram and a girl was literally wearing this neck. We were, we were like, Tess sent it to me and she was like, me, she's wearing the, the heart necklace. And I was like, shit, shit, shit. Am I gonna get canceled like Victoria Paris, you know, where she takes like an Hermes bag and like slams it into this, to the hair stairs and like rips it apart and now she's canceled. Please don't cancel me. I don't know if this is, if this is real designer jewelry. I don't know if it's worth a thousand dollars. So I'm gonna do my best to not ruin this. We're gonna cut it up and light it on there. Oh, hey Nina, didn't you have an entire month to think about what exactly you were gonna do with this? Um, yes, and when I just clipped that little piece off, I realized that plan is not <laughs> going to work. <laughs> because this is really soft and doesn't even feel like metal. It feels kinda like plastic. <laughs> we shall see. For my fall collection, I'm actually doing a bunch of body hair pieces. And so I wanted to do this piece as a body chain, maybe, that's my thinking. But in order to do that, I'm kind of going to deconstruct it and flip it around and see, see what comes out. This might be a fail. This one might go on the bloopers. I'm so pissed. What we find out, friends? Ah, don't look at all this. These are hints to my next collection. Don't look at this. Sometimes I forget that like I have things that I've been working on on my table where I'm like, oh shit, you guys are not supposed to see that yet. This is how shit gets thrown out. I'm like, oh, let's just cover that deep, deep, dark secret with a paper towel. Okay. By the way, the body pieces, all the, all of the NB jewelry fans, don't get excited because the body pieces are not coming out in this next collection, the one that's for summer. So don't get too excited. Oh, baby. Oh, let's just see what happens when I like this one. Ooh, let me see. All right, if I can just get this to stay and I can hold this at least a little bit. Oh, no. This plating is actually pink. I'm gonna try to give it some kind of a cool, like, finish using that natural pot underneath. Whether my husband is watching, always drill a guiding hole first. Don't just try to drill straight through it like that, like I did. 
Since I have to use only pieces out of this pile, I need to find other components to add into this piece, and I don't have a lot of them. I'm gonna need all the chain, all the chain I can get. Every single designer has a pair of, or a piece of like equipment or tools that is their absolute favorite. And this piece, these yellow pliers are one of my all time favorites. Got them from a store in New York called Metal and Chris. You guys, any New York makers are probably familiar. And they closed down their like storefront a long time ago. I desperately them. Like, look, these guys are dying. One set of the springs is, is completely broken. And I'm holding on to these with dear life because they aren't, they do not make them anymore. I cannot get another pair of these. It's so funny because it's just a regular old pair of pliers, you know, like it shouldn't be that big deal, but I'm attached. This is also the one tool that I always accuse all the girls in the store of stealing. And they always tend to be, they always, we always find them on my desk exactly where I put them. But I start freaking out and I'm like, where are they? Where are they? Everything. All right, let's see what I can do with this. So I think that this part is gonna have to be the actual body chain part. And then, for this top part, I was thinking I use this braided ear cup to kind of twist around here and make it look like this closure was intentional. Sometimes the smallest shit is really hard. That's why I really don't make anything small. It's a good idea. Not anyway. <laughs> well, it's not necessary, but it would have been cute. That little piece just doesn't really want to play nice. The hardest thing is that I don't have the ability to play any of this, so I have to keep it at its natural state. These jump rings came off the last project and they are super resistant. I don't know what material they are, but they are very, very hard to move. That whenever I get like another type of material, it's just like such a guessing game for me on how they're going to work, if they're gonna play nice together. I wish we could gold plate these at the end of the project too because the finish would look really good. I kind of vibe with the ring that we already did on the last part. Like I like this part, I like this part, but I just don't love this part. <laughs> like I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't meant to be a body chain. <laughs> my, my magnetic, um, forget what this shit is called. My little needle, my little painting needles stuck to this anyway well in the end i decided this is not meant to be a body chain because i had to attach that chain just kind of looping it through the bottom and it just did not look good to me but at the end of the day it's kind of a cool like airy symbol you know the zodiac symbol for aries mm -hmm. or you know what it also kind of looks like <laughs> what kind of looks like a uterus <laughs> <laughs> oh, this side is Aries, and this side is if you want to do your age. <laughs> oh, you know what? Jump to gems. Actually, I'm gonna try. Is the Aries symbol a ram? Because that's what it actually really does look like. I think it is a ram. It also looks like uh, like a lily, like the type of flower that goes out like this, like a bull. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It actually came out really cool. I was really scared there for a minute. The shitty part about this project is that I can't actually plate these pieces and make it all one color and sparkly and shiny, but overall, not bad. I think it's cute. <laughs> no close-ups of this manicure, please. <laughs> now I have so to. Weird. Now I have to. <gasps> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching our second episode of Jump to Gems. Now I'm gonna try this again. After you watch this video, leave something in the comments. And what we want in the comments this time is what thrift store should we go to next? We had such a haul at Texas Thrift. Do you guys know of another place that can have a lot of good jewelry for me? Comment it below, like, subscribe, share, do all the things. 
Thanks guys. I was totally gonna pull my hair up for everybody that comments and says, put your hair up, it's not, it's dangerous, it's a safety violation. Brought my claw off it. Can't teach an old doggy tricks. See you next time.